If you are just getting started in Resolve, you're probably like me. You're sitting there, you're trying to figure out how to resize your clips or your objects. You can't do it other than using the inspector. You're like, there's got to be an easier way to do this, right? And you're right, there is an easier way. And that's what we're talking about in today's Quick Tip Tuesday. So without further ado, let's just jump right into Resolve and I'm going to show you this quick and easy tip on how to resize your objects. Let's check it out. So check it out, I'm in the edit tab right here, edit tab, so make sure you're there. Now usually you have to come to the inspector right here, and if you wanted to change the size of it, right, you're, you're, you're new to Resolve, you're like, man, I gotta do this, I gotta move it over, I just wanna be able to grab it and change the size of it. Here's how you do it. Come on to your viewer, make sure you've got one viewer, two viewers, doesn't matter. Come on down to the lower left-hand corner of your viewer, and right here, click on this little drop-down, and you see right here we've got transform. Click on that, and now that's going to bring up some handles here that we can just resize our element. We can move it around. We can stretch it up. If we grab the middle ones here, we can stretch it out. If you want, you can use this guy to rotate it. So you've got a lot of options here on how you can quickly move it around and size it based on, you know, visually looking at it, which sometimes I like to do better than jumping in the inspector and have to go precise numbers and... I don't want to do that. Just I just want the handles, right? You just want the handles, right? And once you're done, if you don't want to see the handles, you can go ahead and click that same icon, and it's going to turn off the handles. And now notice I can't click on it. I can't move it. I can't do anything with it. I can, however, come back to the inspector here and continue to change my sizes of things or rotation or whatever, any of this other stuff. You can still change that in the inspector. And a few bonus tips here. You can use some modifier keys like Shift or Control or Command on a Mac to change the sizes of this thing. So if it's not going exactly how you want, or maybe I grab this middle point and I want it to stay the same size, you know, or, or same proportions, I can hold Shift and it's gonna allow me to size it like that versus if I don't hold shift, it's just gonna stretch out the sides. So you've got a lot of options on using those modifier keys to help change the shape of your object that you wanna change. Now here's another cool example. Let's say maybe I've got this uh, splash and paint and I actually want it to be coming out of this person's eyeball right here, right? I don't know why, why? I don't know, because it's cool, that's why. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna slide my paint over top. I'm gonna select my paint layer here with the paint splashing. And again, I'm gonna turn on this guy right here which is my transform feature. Then I'm just gonna scale it down. And you might be thinking, okay, that doesn't look so hot because uh, I can see the edges of it. Ah, well, check this out. We're gonna do this here. I'm gonna come to my cropping section. I'm gonna soften those edges a little bit. And then I'm actually gonna come on down to composite and I'm gonna change this to color dodge. Move this guy up to the eyeball a little bit. Is it perfect? No. Is it cool? I think it's kind of cool. And maybe I gotta bump this over a little bit right there, right? Fader in, boop, check this out. There we go. We've got some bubbling in your eyeball there. Of course, you could do different blend modes. I mean, you can make this look way better, but hey, I thought these were two cool clips. So you can see how easy it is to use this transform feature to change the size of your clips, your objects, your text, anything that's on your screen here, you can use this transform and be able to change the size of it really quick and really easy. If you are new to DaVinci Resolve and you want some quick tips that are gonna just help you get through the program a little bit easier, help you learn things, check out my Quick Tip Tuesday playlist up over here. If you want more in-depth tutorials, check out my crash courses down over there. It's gonna give you everything you need to know in a particular topic to really help you get into Resolve and understand it. That wraps up this Quick Tip Tuesday. Look forward to seeing you guys in the next one. Bye.